Hello my amazing 10th graders and welcome to your summary under 10 minutes with me. In today's session we will be covering chapter 6 from Footprints Without Feet which is the making of a scientist. Let's get right to it. Now the making of a scientist was written by Robert W. Peterson. This prose is about a renowned scientist Richard Ebright who was a bright yet curious child from the early years of his life. He was very fond of collecting butterflies and when he was in second grade, he had already collected 25 species of butterflies in his hometown. His mother always encouraged him in his efforts and gifted him a book named The Travels of Monarch X. The book was a turning point in his life as it opened him to the world of science. It explained how monarch butterflies would migrate to Central America and made him more eager to explore about the species. Soon, he participated in the county science fair and understood that he needed to do something exceptional. He continued with his efforts until he made a place for himself in the fair with valid experiments. Later, in his 8th grade project, he tried to discover the disease caused by a virus that nearly killed most of the monarch caterpillars every year. Ebright assumed that a beetle may be the carrier of the disease, so he started breeding caterpillars along with beetles. However, he didn't get any results from the experiment. Nevertheless, he exhibited the experiment in the county science fair and won the competition that year. During the second year of high school, Ebright started his scientific research about the discovery of a mysterious insect hormone, which led to his brand new theory on the life of cells. His experiment was to find the main purpose of the 12 tiny golden spots on a monarch pupa. His project won first prize in a county science fair and he got an opportunity to work at an entomology lab in Walter Reed Army Institute of Research. As a junior in high school, he went on with his upgraded experiments on the monarch pupa and finally was successful in identifying the chemical structure of hormones. One fine day, while he was checking the x-ray photos of the chemical structure of a hormone, he understood how the cell could read the blueprint of its DNA. Ebright and his roommate in college, James R. Wong, worked day and night and drew pictures and constructed plastic models of molecules to illustrate how DNA works. This was a major leap in Ebright's career as he secured a graduation degree from Harvard with the highest honours and stood second in a class of 1,510 students. His work was also published in a science magazine. Soon, he became a graduate student researcher at Harvard Medical School and started working on other experiments. Richard Ebright was a straight a student in high school. Besides, he took interest in debate, public speaking and was also a good canoeist and an all-rounder outdoor person. He always had a competitive nature and zeal to give his best to everything that he put his hands to. Out and out, he had all the key ingredients of a brilliant scientist starting with a first-rate mind blended with curiosity and a mix of willpower to win for the right reasons. That brings us to the end of our summary. Before I say goodbye, just a reminder for you, all those of you who haven't enrolled for Anthe right away, you can get a 100% scholarship cash awards, All India Rank or an all expenses paid trip to NASA. Doesn't get better than that. Enroll right now. Link is in the description. As always, we've got you covered. We get you what you ask for. All you need to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of these sessions that we have for you. Now I'll see you next time. Till then, have a great day.